People ask me all the time what I mix Total ISO with. Honestly, I mix it with everything. Water, egg whites, Jay? Capone, Daisy. Jay, seriously? Don't. Dave Man Max 6, we are in Van Nuys at Mendy's Gems. Uh, this is uh, Muscle Beach TV with the return of the queen of oh fitness, oh, the beautiful Oksana Krishina. Oksana, so good to see you. Welcome to Muscle Beach TV. So good to see you. It's <laughs> been a while. Uh, yes, and uh, it's just uh, all this COVID situation just kind of stop us. Yeah, so finally I see you and it's just so awesome. Thank you guys. Thank you for having me. This is so cool. I know. you. Um, the last time we filmed, I think, was just at the beginning of the year in January at the Fit Expo. And uh, I was able to catch up with you, but just for a minute, just for like five minutes, and we we're talking about uh, you had just made official your return to the Olympia, uh, that you were going to uh, co return to competing again. So now we are in October already. The Olympia is just 10 weeks away, I think. Yes. So I wanted to catch ten, up with you. Ten and a half. Ten and a half, yes. So I wanted to catch up with you before I head to Vegas, because I'm going to be going to Vegas next week to move. And I said, you know what, I need to call all my favorite people to make sure we can film before we go. Um, so I'm so grateful that you decided to, uh, to do this interview. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, my God. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just so excited. And gosh, it's been a very difficult time, but it's also life saving because of, you know, we have a goal and Olympia is coming up and all athletes getting ready. And thank you so much to promoter, of course, and to IBB for keeping keeping us alive and it's just so awesome yeah nobody expect that it will be you know that, it, that all that happens yeah. but um now we understand how much we love the sport and i just can't wait for the olympia this year it's going to be very special especially with so many athletes coming back this time and yeah i'm just so excited and please guys uh be there be there <laughs> <laughs> So I want to go back a little bit, Oksana. So we, we filmed in January. Of course, uh, the quarantine happened. Um, now, you used to train at your gym, which is d down, the, down the stairs for yeah. you in the same apartment. Yeah. That was taken away from you. So you had, walk, yeah. Yeah, you had no gym to go uh, work out, no gym to go do your gymnastic. How did you deal with the quarantine, and how were you able to uh, continue your prep? Because, you know, Olympians, you, they don't just train for the Olympia, you know, for 12 or even 20 weeks. They train all year for that. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about well, that. Well, when it happens, you know, all the athletes like Danny Hustler, uh, Brion, and we all kind of like stick together. We start to text each other, like, hey, where do you train? Where do you train? And we, uh, I mean, guys helps a lot, you know, to find the place. And that's, I mean, COVID is bad thing, yes, but it's good because finally I came to Scott Mendelson gym because he always invited me to his gym and he's so proud it's amazing place and now i'm here and gosh i got to tell you this is amazing amazing gym for athletes for s people who want to get real result i mean i just so thankful to scott uh for you know for let me train in his gym f preparing for the olympia and of course there was other gyms where i used to work out and i want to thank all people who let me who gave me private access to work out and yeah i have never stopped working out <laughs> during quarantine so um yeah it the only difficult is uh, was to find the gym for my acrobatic workout yes. that's the challenge i'm sure for all gymnasts and fitness competitors dancers they all understand and um it was like First, I start to work out on street, you know, like in park, just to make sure, uh, just to remember some movements. Then they open again uh, for, remember, for yeah. like two weeks. Yeah. And uh, I train a little bit in Las Vegas, oh, <laughs> LA, uh, Fitness LA Fitness Club, yeah. yeah. 
and uh, now I found gym which I think I'm gonna stay uh, until Olympia where I work out and work on my performance acrobatic yeah it's um, Madhouse gym and I'm so thankful to these guys for let me train there privately and uh, yeah I'm just blessed to have I met a lot of new <laughs> people I made new friends during this time it's just yeah I'm just trying to stay positive no yeah. matter what yes and there's always way you know to train there is always way to do what you love yeah. and first time oh my god i remember i start work out at home when there was quarantine started and i did some online videos and our neighbors start to complain we like oh my god oh, really? <laughs> yeah because oh. of course i'm jumping i oh. do some stuff and we should respect each other so yeah and we become good friends with our neighbors because we start to exchange some cookies you know like hey forgive me so yeah it's good but anyway I, of course i should respect uh, neighbors and we i can't work out in my apartment so that's why i stop online training with um with uh, clients oh nice it's um this whole quarantine, I think, made us um, appreciate what we had before. Because when the gyms were all open, we just take it for granted and yes. stuff. And now you're telling me that you have to actually drive 50 minutes just to go do your uh, yes. gymnastic. Yes. So, I mean, how long it used to take you? Like 10, 15 minutes to go to LA Fitness before? Yes, ab right. absolutely. And now we definitely see how much things we just take for granted. Yeah. And uh, absolutely, yeah. But there's no excuse. I'm just very thankful to my husband, Boris, because every time no matter what no matter how he feels he always drive me there uh 50 minutes uh, if it's traffic one hour and he's staying with me at the gym for four hours oh my God. of me working out on my routine and yeah i just sometimes i just take it for granted because i'm busy i'm tired i exhausted but seeing him he all the time just being there with me protecting me from like anything you know and it's just yeah i'm i it's just he's a good one you may have to keep him <laughs> 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 he's over there filming we can't see him but he's doing the behind the scene yes. um yeah you guys are a great team talk to me a little bit about this olympia prep because um uh since last time i saw you you actually injured yourself you yes. injured your knee and we yes. i was trying to get with you to actually talk about that but talk about what happened and how you were able to actually overcome the injury and, and now you're back to full, full force Oh my God! Yes, I'm. I don't know if guys know this or not, but it was such. I was so scared. I got injury because I was so um, distracted mentally. And please, guys, if you work out at the gym, if you decide to work out, I was telling this to every any of my clients, any of my girls. Please focus, focus, of focus, and leave all thoughts behind the gym. I mean, just please li leave it because it's very dangerous. Even for professional athletes, I was athletes. I was, I know what I'm doing, but my thoughts and I was somewhere, and it's so bad. So that happens, and thanks God, I'm back. I never stop rehabbing my knee and uh, thank you to all doctor um, doctors who helped me because i was i was so panic i was like oh my god what's injury can i can i be ready for september yeah. you know and yeah and they said uh, some of them said no you will not able to perform again so oh, wow. and yeah and um, Dr. Victor, he said, listen, just try now, just rehab your knee as, as much as possible. And I did. And now I'm back and now I am I can jump again. I'm back to my routine. Uh, and I think four days ago I did my performance workout without knee support at all. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I'm so happy <laughs> about that. H and how did you injure that? Olymp Olympia was postponed to December, so that it helped. was good for oh. me. I was like, oh, my God, that's... Because I wasn't sure <laughs> about September, yeah. you know, it was very... Um, short. Yeah, yeah, short time to recovery. But now, yes, I'm I'm ready and, yeah, just so excited and thankful. How did you hurt it? Uh, what did, what move did you do? Or was it a flip or what, what Well, happened? I did some very simple move, dance move. Okay. And, but when I showed this move to doctor, he said, oh, my God, yeah, it's not simple at all. <laughs> 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 That's exactly, you know. But, mm. um, yeah, it was kind of, it was dislocated. My knee was dislocated. Oh, but wow. then it goes back right 
right after. Away. Yes, oh, right away. Trauma, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, Scott, Scott, come here for a second, <laughs> please. Just I know. for a second, he, I just so love Is he gonna fit? Man. He's really, he's really, I, I, he's much bigger than us. Wanna, like, interrupt your interview. <laughs> no, no, Big no, Scott. No. What's up, people? Are you, are you getting us, uh, Boris? Are we in there? Oh, wait, can yeah. we get in the frame there? Oh, yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. So, Scott, we just want to say thank you so much for opening your doors to a lot of your goals, Jim brothers and sisters. They love you. They're so grateful. She was saying, oh, my God, I can't believe. I'm so glad Scott invited me over here because she didn't skip a beat. She'll most likely be able to not only do the Olympia, but I'm saying she's going to win the Olympia. Of course, it's like, wow, you know, I'm so I'm so pro Oksana. Uh, and, well, of course, if it wasn't for you opening your doors, it just couldn't be happening. Well, so. you got to understand, my doors aren't open. I know. Just, just I'm here with my friends. Right. And I'm a pro. I'm getting ready for the all-time world record as well. And, you know, we need to train. Right. So, you know, there's three or four of us here. Yeah. And, you know, we're not open. But well, we're you're training. open to a certain, uh, certain few. <laughs> no, no, we're not open. Yes. But these are my friends here. Right, right, right. You know, yeah. and, uh, you know, we're professionals and we have, we have things to do. We got right. goals to meet. Yeah. And, uh, you know, fuck, yes. fuck COVID. <laughs> I love this guy. By the way, this guy is such a patriot. I wanted to come and film with him because I've been uh, so... Um, proud of you uh for standing up for defending wh what's yours for yeah you know, i don't want to get all political of course on you but um i'm really glad that, that you love this country just like i do and i think a lot of times and i've noticed that a lot i have a lot of friends that have moved here from other countries such as yourself and other people and i think when they move from the country what when they see what's going on with the country they're really upset because we love this place mm -hmm. we 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 abandon everything we had to move here and to see people like you who are protecting this country the way you do makes us really happy. I just want to say thank, yeah. thank well, you. Well, you got to understand what these assholes are trying to do is they're trying to make our country like the other countries. Right. And that's unacceptable. Unacceptable. You know, America is the land of the great, the home of the free. Yep. And that's why we all are here. That's why we all, you know, I mean, I am American. I was born here. But that's why all my friends that aren't from America are here yep. in America. Yeah. You know, because the freedoms uh, that you can express here, are unlike anywhere else in the world, I've been all over the world and and I've experienced and, you know, there are some places you can't even talk, Yeah. you know, mm -hmm. so so people you need to stand up and, you know, if right. you don't make the right choice right now, America's not going to be America anymore. So get the fuck up and do something about it. I am. You should. <laughs> I'm pumped on this guy. That's awesome. I love it. I just want you, to, uh, on behalf of myself and all my friends that are from other countries and, and the patriots from, from the, US, the USA, I'm really glad uh, to see you are like that. And you're vocal about it because a lot of people are patriot, but they're so scared of saying anything to not ruffle any feathers, and I don't think well, that helps. Well, you Dave, know? Dave, you, you've known me I've for known years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I say it like it is, you know, you either like me or you great. hate me and quite frankly, I don't give a shit. Yeah. So, you know, um, you know, I love all you guys out there and, you know, I want you to be the best that you could be, but you know what, if you don't like me, go fuck yourself. Yeah. I don't really care. Yeah. So, you know, take it or leave it. Yeah. This is who you are. Yeah. yeah so man. anyway, I love you guys. Even the ones that hate me, I still love you, <laughs> but go fuck off anyway. <laughs> All right, give me All a right. hug, guys. All right. Thanks I gotta for get out of thanks here. Thanks for having us. Thank All right, you. appreciate it. All right, I'll see I you on the battlefield, Scott. baby. <laughs> All right, we got him. Oh boy, he has to go. He was, oh, I want to be in the shoot, but I gotta go. And so at least we got him for a minute. Um, uh, are we good, Boris? Okay. Yeah. Okay, you guys. This is live TV for people. So yeah, I love him. I I, I think he's um. He's a rock in the community, and uh, and he's a good guy, and and I'm so happy that you end up uh, yeah, coming and here. First of all, he's an athlete. He's a yep. le legend in powerlifting, yep. of course, and That's he understands what does it mean to when your show is coming up and you have like not no not nowhere to train. Yeah. So yeah, there is just few people in this gym. I mean, just personal friends. Yeah, of his. that yeah. only friends, That's and awesome. that's it. Yeah, and we are so appreciate. Of course, to Scott for yeah. yeah for let us. So let's go back to the Olympia. I wanted to talk a little bit, and uh, and I know we spoke uh, in January the Fit Expo about you making your return to the Olympia. So you only took one year off. So you uh, retired. I think it was. Is two it two years, years off? So okay. Yeah. So I remember the last filming we did before you retired. You said, you know what? I want to give the chance to somebody else to get the title. 
and and I never thought you would come back. And I was disappointed because to me, you're my girl. You know, <laughs> I'm rooting for you. I always only go see the fitness uh, the fitness uh, competition because you're in it because I want to see your routine and everything. So I was kind of bummed out when you retired, and then you decided to come back. Um, what made it What made it uh, uh, in your head the reason? why you wanted yeah. to come back. Did you say, okay, well, I let someone else have the chance. Now I want to get my title back. What, why did you <laughs> Why did you decide to come back? I'm so glad you did, but why? If you know, I always uh, compete not because of uh, placing, because of title. I compete because I I want to show something, you mm -hmm. know? And yeah, I, and I remember I said, I don't believe in come back. But if you not work out in the same routine, I mean the same uh, tempo. Mm -hmm. So I have... And then, you know, two years after, I'm like, listen, I have great uh, idea. I uh, never stop workout. I work out in the same tempo, even increase, you know, some, uh, some um, uh, stamina and uh, also new movements. And I was like, why not, you know? And I think, yeah, this is, this is great. And I'm not pregnant yet, so, and we talk to Boris, Boris, and yeah, we make this decision. And yeah, so <laughs> we'll see. And this is so, I, n I would never expect it from myself, you know. So this was not like pre-planned. You were like, you didn't say it to yourself, okay, I'm gonna take two years off and then no. I'm gonna come, no. Oh, no, okay. definitely no. You know, I, I'm done, I'm done. That's it, that's what I said. And, um, and we talked to Dan and uh, yeah, I gave him yes so and <laughs> of course I'm i know he wanted you to come back yeah, yeah. and last year robin uh, i think 2018 yes robin called me and he said do you think about coming back 19 then called me about yes maybe you can come back so i this year i decide yes wow yeah i'll 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 do it <laughs> <laughs> it's important to to note that you said you never actually stopped it's training it, hard yeah, and that's important for you yeah yes of course if i would stop at all uh i mean i will um, yeah it Don't will mind. be difficult no it's mine oh, okay <laughs> live tv this, i'm so sorry this alarm <laughs> for food but i ate already just in case, but <laughs> that's her alarm for the food so she doesn't skip yeah, her meal there you go <laughs> It's interesting for me because uh, that was my thought when I stopped competing. I said, yes, that's it, you know, and now it's just, you never know what to expect even from yourself, you know, mm -hmm. it's just, it's, it, yeah, it's wow. going to be very exciting, especially with Adela coming back, you know, and that's something very interesting and I support her. I know how difficult it is for her. She and stopped for a long time. How many yes, years? Yes, for, um, Five, six, seven years? No. I th yeah. Mm, seven. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah, seven yeah. years. Yeah, and it's just it's so inspiring. You know, it's so inspiring, and I just um, yeah, I'm interesting in this process, like to see her uh, really building everything from. S I know how difficult it is. Yeah. So yes, and yeah, I just can't. I can't wait to see her. I can't wait to see all other girls. You know, with me. Yes. <laughs> oh gosh, it's just it's gonna be so awesome, and I miss I miss Olympia stage, and yeah. So, as of right now, are you planning just to do this year's Olympia, and then you'll go from there? There's no plan of either retiring or continuing. You just can take one year at a time, and is that your train of thoughts? Or I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess I'll have to talk to you I after the show. I don't know. Yes, it's I always honest with my thought, you know, and I just right now I don't know, especially with this all the situation. Yeah. I'm just praying. I know Olympia is going to happen. It doesn't matter what, because then and uh, Jack, they put everything, all their power to make it happen. Yeah. So I know it's going to be. But just with this situation, I mean, we don't know yeah. what's going to be tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. And uh, for us, from athletes, we just need to stick to what we love and just work out hard and make result. I want to show result, not just be in the same position where I was. You know, I, I always trying to improve myself and show some record. Yeah. You know, so and that's what we're working right now. And I'm so thankful, God, and to everyone that we have this goal. We have this goal because it's keep us move forward with life and it not get depressed, I know. you know, from everything it's we true. see. Let me ask you something. How has been 
the feedback and the response from the public, from the fans, since you announced you're, you're, you're coming back? Well, how has it been for you? Oh, God, they went crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yes thought. oh my god yes i didn't expect it they like wow they're so supportive i love all my fans i love everyone you know and uh, yeah you're just so special to me guys y they believe in me more than i am you know that's <laughs> always was like because i believe in hard work i believe in everyday training in every hour training yes but they see from their view, yes. you know, and I just so appreciate you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for your support. You are the best in the world. <laughs> That's for sure. And I'll do my best. I'll do my best at the Olympia 2020. I think that's all you have to do to uh, to be on top of the pile. I'm I'm so excited to uh, go see you return, to go see Adela's return. It's gonna make it so interesting for me to actually go see this Olympia, um, because you know you guys are my friends. You know, so I'm such a big supporter. I'm such a big fan of yours, you, and uh, I'm so uh, grateful for you to do this interview. And uh, best of luck in ten and a half weeks at the 2020 Mr. Uh, Olympia. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave Mad Max 6 for JTV with the great Oksana Grishina, and we're out.